The world has a new top polluter. India owns that dubious distinction. According to a new study from Greenpeace, India's pollution levels reached a record high in 2015, overtaking China for the very first time. CCTV's Sweta Bajaj has more on the study and what India is doing to combat pollution. The Greenpeace study blames a spike in fossil fuel usage in India since 2005 for the dangerous levels of pollution. China's pollution levels peaked in 2011, but efforts taken in recent years achieved what researchers call impressive improvement in average air quality. Pollution in India, meanwhile, continued to worsen. Fine particulate matter known as PM2.5 poses the greatest health risks because these particles can be inhaled deeply into the lungs. Between 2010 and 2015, China saw a 17% drop in this kind of pollution, while during the same time period, India's PM2.5 grew by 13%. India's worst levels of pollution were found in its northern region. But also the, this is the reason where, where lots of uh, new developmental projects, new industries have been coming up. And if we, we see Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and uh, north, north, northeastern part, part of Madhya Pradesh, this is the reason where lo lots of industrial clusters ha have been coming up. To address the pollution problem, India's government has just imposed a new tax on car sales. Delhi's government also tried out a traffic reduction plan in January, allowing cars to operate on alternate days depending on whether their registration ended in odd or even numbers. While traffic was reduced, its impact on pollution is debatable. Yes, on, on that period there was less traffic, but yes, schools are shut, uh, offices are shut, uh, a lot of people are holidaying. So I don't think so that was the correct measurement of actually figuring it out whether it, it was successful or not. Effective or not, the city will impose the odd-even rule again for two weeks in April. Scientists argue that vehicles and vehicular traffic constitute a very small part of Delhi's pollution and that's the reason that urgent steps need to be taken, including shutting power plants that are within the city, stopping the burning of wood, and waste, especially during winter months, and also ensuring that the number of diesel cars on Delhi's roads are reduced. Last year, India also launched its air quality index monitoring system, but has just 39 stations it tracks. That compares to 1,500 monitoring stations in China. Experts say India needs to take a regional approach. If we talk about regional nature of pollution and talk about strict action plans which are time-bound and systematic, then we'd, I definitely see a hope uh, for India to have cleaner air and we will breathe cleaner air. While it's clear that a comprehensive plan for India is urgently needed, there is little being done in a coordinated manner. For now, India looks to remain the world's most polluted nation, a nation where hundreds of thousands of people are estimated to die each year from pollution-related diseases. Shweta Bajaj, CCTV, New Delhi.